We'll see how this one goes for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Davis, we're going to start with you. Have you or will you be accepting donations from special interest groups uh, and PACs, such as Genesee Landlord PAC, Chamber of Commerce, UAW PAC? Why or why not? If they get, allow me to give me an endorsement, if that's what you're trying to say, and I'm hoping that's what you're trying to say, and that's, I'm gonna give you an explanation based on what I think she's trying to say in this endorsement. If they allow me to give me an endorsement for my campaign, I will allow the endorsement, but I, is that what you were saying? I'm asking, will you be accepting donations from them? Accepting donations from yes. them? Yes, from special interest groups. From special interest groups? Yes. No. Nah. No, because I catch on how you say it. No, I will not. <laughs> no, I will not. See, see, I'm listening. I'm very attentive. Yeah. And, and no, 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 I will not. No, I will not. So I just wanted to make sure I understood exactly what you were saying. I had it mixed up with endorsement. So I'm just going to leave it like that. No, I will not. <laughs> Special mentions groups. Um, I, I uh, never have, and uh, I don't see that I will. Uh, one thing that I like about uh, my position as a city councilman is that I'm free. I'm not bought out by any group uh, or any individual or, or, or anyone. I'm free to speak what is truth, uh, what is in the best interest of the city of Flint, and I take uh, uh, you know, absolute uh, pride in being able to be free for you, the people, and to serve you the way that you need to be served. Um, sometimes, you know, that's not popular, but uh, I will take a stand, I will continue to take a stand uh, to serve you, the people, in the best interest uh, of the city of Flint and individuals. Thank you. No, I would not, and no, I have not. And um, I agree with um, Councilman Lawler. Um, I'm going to remain free. And I was just, I'm laughing. My mom's been deceased nine years, and all I can hear is her voice playing this game that many of us might be familiar with. And she used to say, all money ain't good money. That's right. And so for me, I have to do without. I have to be free to find out what the best interest for the people is. And if that means, and, and of course it's never, you know, we want you to do anything. It's, we just need your ear on certain situations. Well, no, I need my ear to be free to what the voice of the people are saying. And I don't ever want to be audited and it come across that I've done some dealings with some people who have found to be of lack of integrity. And so that's my position on that question. The question is, am I beholding to any special interest? No, fact of it, ladies and gentlemen, I am beholding to special interest. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife watches very carefully how I expend money. I uh, have done reasonably well in my life, been very fortunate. Fact of it is, I haven't uh, asked for any money. I have received two massive donations totaling $80. <laughs> I, uh, rely on, uh, what I produced in the past and the reputation hopefully I've garnered. I will say this, I'm proud of the endorsements, the Flint police officers, the Flint firefighters, Senator Jim Annanick, the mayor, and my dear friend that is sitting over there, or was a short time ago, the current city councilman for the seventh board, Mr. Way Hill, and a number of other folks. Thank you. Hi, the answer is no. That's a no brainer for me. That's why we're on government shutdown because of special interest group. My interest is serving the public. You are my interest group. Uh, my campaign comes from the swell, my bra, and from the people that believe that I can do a very good job. I don't need an interest group to push me to do anything. I'm going to do the right thing because it's in my heart. Nobody can buy me. I'm not for sale. 
I then bought and paid with a very expensive price, and I'm free. Um, in, re in regards of that, um, if I need some money, I can go to Joe P. McNeil, and I can tap back into his retirement account, and he's just going to have to fund this here campaign to the end. <laughs> Okay, I have not uh, accepted anything from any special interest group, nor do I plan on intending to do that. My donations, my support has come from people who know me and people who believe in me, on my experience, on my dedication, and my willingness to do this job as it needs to be done. I am looking at being a council person for the constituents in my ward, to represent them, to work for them. I belong to them. and. I will represent them to the fullest. I am their voice at City Hall. This is Vicki Van Buren. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be our last uh, audience question. And we will be starting with Councilman Lawler. Should the number of council persons be reduced? If so, to how many? Why many? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, that's a question that's being entertained now uh, in many discussions, and I think that that uh, needs to go before the people, and the people need to decide uh, whether they want the council to be reduced. But when you look at when you look at the cost effect of uh, the budget that we have, would it be more uh, cost effective to reduce the number of council? Uh, or would it be more effective to uh, go back to a city manager form of government? I think a city manager form of government, uh, we're paying more for a uh, city manager form of government than we would reduce in the council. There's t currently 10,000 people in each ward, and it's impossible for any council person to reach all 10,000 people. So if you then add more to that ward, we are the, the, the connectors with the city services and what Thank the you, individuals Mr. need. I think I'll continue with um, Councilman Lawler's uh, philosophy because just thinking about it, I've never served as city council, but 10,000 is a lot of people. And so when you think about adding more to that, you already, I'm sure, the council people that are in this room get people all the time that say, I called you, you didn't respond to me, and it, it, I can imagine that it's overwhelming. And so I think, again, I would agree that it would need to go before the people, and they would need to do an analysis of if that's truly the most beneficial thing for the city and its residents. No. I don't believe that uh, cutting the council down to three, five, seven, whatever, uh, the, the monies purportedly being saved are negligible. The fact of it is, city councilman, uh, Mr. Kincaid, Mr. Freeman, and, and perhaps uh, others that have served on the council, they know that they have put in a great deal of time for basically and approximately, perhaps Mr. Kincaid can check me, I know he won't here, but uh, about 20000 a year. Uh, currently, I think they make roughly 7072 under the EFM, but the bottom line is it's a red herring to believe that that's an effective use of our city government. Uh, be before you answer the question, if people have their cell phones on, could you turn them off? Because they're already fussing at me about only having a minute to respond, and I know the phones distract them. So if you could do that, we would appreciate it. <coughs> okay, go ahead. No, um, I don't think that's a decision for a city council person to make. That's a uh, decision for this uh, to come before the public. The eight ward is functional without a city council person as we speak because what the city council need is support uh, so we can serve the ward in the capacity that it need to be. If we want to do anything for city council, it supply us with the support so we can give the right information out to the people. Um, reducing the ward is just going to uh, uh, only create more chaos. What we need now is support. And if anybody think about doing it, that's a 
people choice. You have a right to determine how you want your ward to be represented. Under the law, we should have a representative sitting in our ward, and right now we do not. Currently, City Council has nine council representatives. To reduce that to maybe even half is not fair to the city of Flint. We may have 100,000 people, but can you imagine if we only had like four council people? And who is going to listen to you? Who are you going to be able to reach? How are they going to know what your problems are when they are scattered so all over the city? I know some wards have now stretched maybe from the uh, east side to the west side, and it's a big ward because we have lost people in that area. But you know, we need to take care of the city. And if the 8th Ward did not have a representative, how are their voices going to be heard? This is not fair to them. We must have representation, continue with what we have so we can properly commu communicate their concerns and get information back and forth. Let's continue being the voice for the people, being their representatives, and we need to stay as we are. Thank you. I think this is a decision that the people should make because at the end of the day, the people is the ones who makes the difference. They are the ones that change the laws and everything else that goes on in our city. Mr. Lawler made a statement and I'm compelled to make this statement. We got 10,000 people in our ward. He's only engaged with about 100. 9,900 people don't even know who he is. And that's sad and I'm going to make this statement while I'm up here. Because this is something that people needs to know. He does not get out and engage or dialogue with nobody. He don't even campaign Excuse and not Excuse me. I'm going to have to stop you. Okay, well, I'm going to just say this. Wait, let me finish. Because we don't want to do any persons. Okay. Like any personal attacks. Okay. We just want information. Okay. Well, just I think, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I just get my feelings caught up in it when I think of neglect. But however, um, I think the people should make this decision. I really do. And at the end of the day, it's all about what the people want, not what I want. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're at the end. And what we have now 